Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself Ashwarya Saxena and today we are going to illustrate the lecture number 21. I have already discussed and illustrated 20 lecture in this series. I hope you have watched those videos. If you haven't watched my previous videos, then I recommend you to please watch them. Then this video would be much easier for you to understand. In this video, as I have promised before on my previous videos, that I will discuss the R, uh, sorry, hexa codes. I have already discussed the RGB values, RGB modes, and the default modes, the basic modes in my previous lectures. So here I am going to illustrate the hexa codes, hexa values of color. So let's give a heading here. Or hexa mode, that is hexadecimal mode, and uh, hexa mode of color. So, and uh, of course, we are going again to we are again going to see the inline style sheets. Let's save the document. And now, see here, you you know it very well that a background color is um, old phenomena. I have already discussed this style in line style in my previous videos the new thing here is this particular this hexa code so what is the hexa code why i am using this hexa code wait a second and i'll show something on the notepad now let's uh, take some i just want to give you an idea here this is hash now, when we are talking about hexa code, we are giving two values for R, two values for G, and two values for B. Yeah, exactly. This is the hexa code. Here, R stands for red, G stands for green, red. So, you know it very well that here could not be changed uh, the color and all, and size even. Green. And B stands for blue. Let me maximize it. Yeah. Here you can see that R stands for red. We are giving two hexa values. Two values. Hexa means hexa. What is the meaning of hexa? Hexa means hexadecimal. And when we are talking about hexadecimal, that means that means 0 to 9 and yeah, or you can say plus a to f yeah exactly so here a is equal to 10 b b equals to 11 c equals to actually it's equal sign yeah it's equal sign c equals to 12 D equals to 13, E equals to 14, and of course, F equals to 15. So you can easily see that the hexa code, that is hexadecimal, hexadecimal means 16, hexadecimal means 16, and it contains 16 values. Hexa means 16, hexa means 6, decimal means 10. So 10 plus 6, 16. So this hexa code contains 16 different values that is from 0 to 9 as we are studying computer science we are talking about computers and we know it very well that a computer can understand only binary language but there are few number systems like decimal hexadecimal octal and binary so here hexadecimal contains 16 values 0 to 9 that is 10 values and a to f that are 5 and sorry 6 then 10 plus 6 that is 16 a stands for after 9, 10, B, 11, C, 12, D, 13, E, 14, and F, 15. Now, I hope you are getting the concept of hexadecimal. If you are having any problem or confusion in this particular thing, then you can just com uh, comment, uh, sorry, you can just uh, put your query in the comment box. So, it would be easier for me to make another video. Just put the topic of the another video, whichever you like. To be uploaded even i myself will make 
uh, videos on number system in the series of triple C. And you can just go to the series of triple C to get the concept of number system. So here, I hope this particular concept is clear to you. Hexadecimal means 10 plus 6, that is 16, and hexadecimal code contain these 16 values, 0 to 9. Or let me write here. Yeah, these nine values plus A to F, that is these values, these six values. So these 16 values are included in this hexa code. So now what is the meaning of hexa code here in RGB? As to vary the value of these codes, these RGB, we have to use these hexa values. In the previous videos and lectures, I have taught you, I have elaborated uh, the concept of RGB mode. And RGB mode was uh, containing three values like this, where the value for RGB varied from 0 to 255. And that means total number of 256 values. So each, each RGB was containing different 266 values and the combinations of them. Of course, you have seen that video and if you haven't seen, then don't forget, don't miss that video. And it is very important one. So here, in the case of this RGB, this RGB is the hexa code. When we are using the hashtag here, then it is the RGB mode, which is using the hexa code. Now, the values, I'm just giving an example and I will just elaborate it there on the uh, Atom software. So here, we can give the code like 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 reds, 0, 0, 4 greens, 0, 0, 4 blue, that is black. Color, we will get black color. Again, sorry. Again, hashtag or you can say hash. 0, 0, 0, 0 and FF, that is the maximum value for, or you can type like this. It's, it's all same because it's non-case sensitive language it doesn't matter you are typing in a small case or capital case uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter so here when you are giving maximum value ff for blue then what would be color yeah you guessed very correct it would be blue again again when you are giving suppose you are giving 00 ff 00 that is you are giving the maximum value for green then it would green, give green color. Again, you are giving, suppose, 0, 0, oh sorry, FF, 0, 0, 0, 0, that is, you are giving the maximum value for red, then you will get the red color. Again, now, if you are giving FF, FF, and FF, all RGB values to the highest level, then you will get white color. And now I hope you are able to guess that if we vary the values of these codes individually, like if I give 0A or 11 or 33, it would give some other color. Yeah, you are getting the right tone. So now let's check, uh, sorry, check it on the Atom software. Here you can see this particular code, you know, when I have given here FF4, FF4 red, that is this one, that would give red color. Then for this particular value, that is green, then it will give green color. When I have given this value for blue, it will give blue color. Then 2FF, then this changes this variations I have given so now let's check it on the browser I hope you are understanding the lecture and you will get good idea when we will run it on the browser so let's see and go through it now as I told you before FF for red that is R we are getting red FF for green and 00 for others give green FF for blue and 00 for others give blue. Now, here FFFF that is a combination of 
red and green and you have i hope you have watched that video the previous one it is very important don't miss it if you have watched that video you must have seen the maximum value of red and blue sorry red and green always give the yellow color so there we use 255 255 here we are using fffff again to uh, 255 255 for red and blue then here fffff for red and blue then we are getting the magenta color and now fffff that is the maximum values for g and v that is green and blue then we are getting the cyan color so these are the particular colors the set values the hexa codes we can use to output these particular colors we can make different combinations for different colors try them until i upload the next video with the combinations i hope you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel subscribe the channel and if you are a subscriber thanks for subscribing fame world educational hub stay tuned see you in the next video